you guys, so I haven't really done a lot of talking clips yet for this video, um, so I figured it was time to check in. Basically, quite a bit has gone done. Um, I completely finished painting our master bedroom. The ceilings in both bathrooms are now done. So the only thing left that I need to paint are the walls in the master bathroom, which is tiny, so that won't take me any time at all. Um, but Kyle has put in the floor and almost the entire house except for the dining room and the kitchen and so the next thing that needs to get installed are cabinets um, because this time around we're going to put flooring down in the kitchen after the cabinets in the last house we did we did it the reverse way but I don't know we googled it we weren't really sure which way was the right way to go with the last house we did a waterproof floor a waterproof floor so there wasn't really a huge risk of needing to take up flooring um, if there was a leak or something but in this house this floor is not waterproof so we figured it would be safest to just go ahead and put the floor down after the cabinets that way if there was a leak or something like that um, it'd be much easier to just tear out the kitchen and put down a new floor instead of having to rip up cabinets as well or take down cabinets so that's the plan so i've already built one cabinet which is super exciting so i'm going to start on this one and just see how far I get until I need to go pick up the boys. <laughs> it's also much easier if you use an impact or a drill or something, but Kyle's using <laughs> the only one we can find at the moment, so I'm doing it old fashioned way. The boys and I had a free morning, so I decided to come out here and I've been needing to get measurements for blinds for a little bit, so we brought their little activity box and they played and ran around for a second while I ran around and measured everything and then I did a quick tidy of the house, um, just kind of getting stuff off the floor and starting to prep our room for floor. So just cleared out all the junk that was in here and swept a little bit and just, I don't know, made it seem a little bit more organized. Finished up that and now I think we're gonna head to Walmart and buy the blinds and bring them back here and then it'll be about nap time. So then we'll head back to Grandma Jeannie's and we'll have some quiet time. What do you think? Oh, in my watch iPad. Yeah, you get to watch your iPad, okay? Do you like those beans and rice? Uh-huh. Where's car, Mom? Where is the car? Yeah. Uh, why is it that pile? Let's find it. Let's find it. Is there anything you want to say, Levi? I found it. Hey, found do you want to tell a story? 
Hey. Yeah. Hey you guys, so Kyle's mom offered to take the boys for us for a little bit this afternoon and evening, which is awesome. So I'm going to work on finishing up this bathroom so that Kyle can get the toilet and the vanity in. So what's left is to just do a little bit more prepping. There's a tiny bit of baseboard. I didn't realize it's left in there. Um, so just a little bit of prepping before I finish painting trim. And this door hasn't been painted, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, which I need to use the bonding primer for because I am fairly certain this is also the same oil paint that we had issues with before. Did I talk about that? So the deal with that is I had already painted a bunch of trim and doors and things and then Kyle accidentally scraped it. I'm gonna do a really short version. Kyle scraped it, the whole door peeled off, so we had to go all the way into town to get bonding primer, put the bonding primer on, repaint the door. It's a huge pain. Another door is starting to peel off. I'm super mad about it. Anyway, I don't wanna repaint this door, so I'm going to go ahead and do the bonding primer anyway, and then I can go ahead and get the real paint on it, but let's get going. Ooh, that was not good. I'm not going to put that in there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get started. Mad. Don't get it. We're the only people out here. There's no reason for it not to be here. Guarantee I'm gonna find it when I come back. I'm gonna go buy this primer. When I come back, I'm gonna find the stinking primer sitting in a very obvious spot. Ah, so frustrating. So Sherwin-Williams, where I got my other bonding primer, is closed because of the virus that's going around. So I stopped at Walmart and just got this, and it says it should work on enamel, um, which is basically what oil paint kind of is. So I'm hoping it works, because I don't really have another option, and I still can't find the other one, which I'm mad about. Also, McDonald's messed up my coffee. <sighs> and it's like literally sugar and milk, so. It's not, not a great day. Thank you. Yep, it's nasty. I told them to half the sugar and they took out all the coffee and added extra sugar. So it's just milk and sugar. I haven't really talked about this in the video yet, but we are in the middle of the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic that is happening. And so the US has been in various stages of shutdown. 
um, over the past two weeks. And so we've made already a trip to Wichita to try to get what we thought was the remainder of the stuff to finish out the house. But as we have been out the house this week, we realize there's still a handful of things that we need to get. Um, actually more than that, but the stores are out of stock of some stuff we need. So Levi and I are making a quick trip to Derby to grab um, another piece of the countertop because we kind of underestimated how much we would need of that and just a couple other random things that Kyle is going to need for plumbing work and things like that. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and good news about the plumbing. Okay, so we had uh, a plumber come out and give us a quote for what was left to do in the laundry room and um, basically in the laundry room. So we had a plumber come out to give us a quote and it was like quite a bit higher than we expected it to be by a lot. And uh, we were just not not gonna be able to swing that and we just didn't want to to be honest so we got a second quote from another guy and he came in right around where we thought was fair <laughs> so we're going ahead with that and he's able to start on Monday so I am so thankful that he is gonna be able to start so soon because that was taking us a long time to find a plumber that was gonna be able to do this and to do it within our budget um, and we are not definitely not able to move in until this plumbing work is done. It's like the whole laundry room, mudroom is completely just, it's almost like not a whole lot has been done to it because we're just, we kept having to wait to find a plumber. So now that we finally have a plumber, that room is hopefully gonna be wrapped up by the middle of next week. He says it should only take him a couple days, hopefully. So that'll be awesome. So once that room gets wrapped up, we'll be able to move forward with more moving in. So that's great. And that's pretty much it. Hey, you wanna sit in it? Good loader. Uh huh. You like it? So Kate agreed to watch the boys for me a little bit today so I could come out here and do some stuff. So let me take you around really fast and show you what we've been working on because a lot has gotten done. And then I will keep painting baseboard. So let's go. Okay, so I probably should have waited because it's already getting pretty dirty. <laughs> but I couldn't resist putting up our table and chairs once Kyle got our light up. Oh, uh, it just looks so pretty. And it makes it feel like it's so much more is getting done. Uh, okay, and then Kyle got the two upper cabinets installed. We still need, there's two big black, that piece is one of them. So there's a couple big black things that come on either side of the fridge to make it look more built in. Um, and then right here we had to have a little nine inch gap because Ikea doesn't make cabinets that are this small. Um, but we don't want to butt the stove all the way up to the fridge because you need to be able to reach and cook and stuff like that. So there's going to be a black piece that goes here and then we're going to have just a cover panel here or I may have our neighbor who we're good friends with. Um, he's amazing at woodworking. So he built us a little cubby in our last house for a gap like this. So I may have him do that again. That way I'll have a place to put um, cookie sheets and things like that. So, and then we have a piece coming down on this side that frames in the microwave. Oh, and on this side of the microwave too. And then we have open shelf here, 
open shelf here. Goes around the edge, and then two open shelves here. And all of the lower shelves are installed. We just kind of set our um, butcher block countertops on here to kind of get an idea of how we needed to cut them. It is trickier than we thought to try to stay within the pre-made stuff for counters because they don't make anything. I think I've talked about this, but nobody has pre-made stuff besides butcher block that is over, um, honestly over 25 inches wide. 25 inches wide is the standard counter depth and we really, really wanted this to have an overhang on this side um, to have bars, to have a bar with stools. So we had to go with butcher block, which is fine. I love butcher block, um, but they don't even make it long enough to go all the way to the wall. Like there's very few options of things. So it has to stop here and then it has to have this one. Me. Okay. And then this long piece has to go all the way to the end over there and then it goes over and we just didn't measure right the first time. We actually didn't measure at all. Um, we just bought it and obviously it's not going to reach all the way there and then have a little bit that goes on this little chunk right here. So Levi and I went to Lowe's the other day and picked up two more short chunks of butcher block hoping that we can kind of piece it together that way and make it work. Um, so, but the kitchen's coming along. Let me give you a little overview. So let's pretend we're walking in. Now you walk in and I added more of my spice jars. I ordered a couple more packs so it fills it. But there we go. And Kyle hooked up my fridge. So it's working. We have, you know, the necessities, Dr. Pepper, hamburger stuff butter <laughs> so fridge is working stove is working microwave works i've talked about this too but we were having issues finding a plumber that could finish the job that was um, half done and so finally we found somebody that was available and was within our budget which is amazing and he got it done he was going to do it on monday and we figured it would take him a few days but I was here until about noon. I was here for a couple hours Monday morning and he hadn't shown up yet. And then I, Kyle, when Kyle showed up after his work gets out, he showed up about 4.20 and it was done. The whole wall was done. Obviously Kyle has already put sheet rock up, but the whole wall was done. He got everything done so fast in a couple hours. And I'm just so excited because this was the last thing that depended on somebody else to do um, and that's just hard to plan around when you don't have control so now we are back to doing everything so Kyle got all of it sheet rocked yesterday after the plumber left so he got all of this stuff cut in um, I'm not sure what his plan is for tonight he gets off work here in like 20 minutes so he'll be here in, in not too long so I don't know if he's gonna start mudding it all or what, but this room really needs to be done before we move in because it has my washer and my dryer and my pantries, which are very important because our kitchen without any upper cabinets has, it's not gonna have any food storage besides like the fridge. So I really need to wait. We need to wait to move in until this room's done because it does have some pretty essential things and I'm not about to go to a laundromat with two kids. I'm not that brave. Not gonna do that. I would rather just wait. I would rather just wait a little bit longer and be patient and just have a functioning washer and dryer in the house. And then the last thing that we've done, which you've already probably seen clips of this, Emma came over and helped me the other day. Um, when I was painting the walls in this room and having to bend down to get to these lower sections, I noticed that it still smelled so badly of pee. Really, really, really badly. If you haven't watched our older videos, you won't know. This was basically like their animals litter box. Their animals just straight up use this carpet as a litter box. I'm not even kidding you. Pee and poop just coated the carpet, coated it. It was beyond nasty and it soaked all the way through the subfloor, especially in this area. This is where it was really, really bad. And while I was painting, I was hoping that if we let it air out, it would be okay, but it wasn't. It was 
still pretty potent. So we went ahead and got a Kills, um, like a primer that is supposed to help remove odors. So we put that down and I have noticed a pretty, okay. Yeah, I don't really smell it. I don't smell it. So I think by the time we get the flooring, oh, the battery's gonna die. By the time we get the flooring and stuff on there, I think we should be good to go. So hopefully. All right, you guys, and that's pretty much it for this installment. Um, we are getting so close to moving in. Only a few more things left to do, like that mudroom, like I said, before it is livable. So we are very excited, it cannot wait. Uh, we're getting so close, oh my gosh. We'll see you guys in the next video.